Welcome to the Denodo Platform 8.0 Enhancements video. In this video, we will be outlining the new enhancements included in the 2024 third quarter update of Denodo Platform 8.0. In this video series, we will be covering the most important enhancements added to the different Denodo servers and tools. For this specific video, we will review the enhancements for the virtual data port. Let's begin by reviewing the enhancements to the virtual data port server. Virtual data port has included new enhancements related to the base view creation. Now it is possible to create graphically base views over an HTTP endpoint, which returns 204 number content as the response. Custom wrappers now can execute the method get input stream against mostly variations of this URL. A new stored procedure called discover underscore object underscore storage underscore MPP underscore tables has been included in virtual data port. This stored procedure scans the distributed storage, starting from a folder given by the user, and for each Parquet dataset it finds, in a folder or subfolder, creates the corresponding base view in Denodo VDP. It also creates the corresponding Hive table in the Denodo embedded MPP to create base views of object storage elements from the embedded MPP. Finally, it is possible to flatten all the fields of a view at once when the user is creating slash editing a flattened view. Several enhancements has been added to the functions in virtual data port. Left and right functions have been added to virtual data port. Left and right functions are heavily used functions, and we can utilize the alternate solutions for left and right, but it is not a straightforward process. Also, those new functions can be pushed down to the data source. Added graphic support to create custom functions with existing names in a predefined function. The import resources script has been updated to allow the upload of custom wrappers, functions, and stored procedures into virtual data port. Now the DESCVQLLIS command includes the create user slash role statements when the user is a local admin and has the privileges to create users and roles. Before this update, the stored procedure get underscore stats underscore for underscore fields overwrites the statistics of a view. Now, a user can gather statistics for all fields in a view instead of doing that step by step. This Denodo platform update adds support for using ScreenDB as a data source and also includes several enhancements related to data sources. Now it is possible to access all the files located in an SFTP folder or filtered by a rejectsp expression. When using an Oracle database, starting in this update is possible to push down the function convert underscore time zone when the time zone parameter is located in a table column. Finally, for tables in Delta or Parquet format located in Databricks, it is possible to execute insert, delete, or update operations. This update adds several enhancements to the embedded MPP engine. For Parquet files, now it is possible to access the information stored with complex structures, like the columns of type map. The connection to a Kerberized HDFS is slightly different for embedded MPP data sources than for regular ones. Starting from this update, embedded MPP data source to access an HDFS object storage can be configured to use Kerberos. The refresh underscore source underscore table underscore metadata stored procedure has been updated to allows to refresh the metadata for several views at once created over Parquet data using the embedded MPP. Sometimes out of memory errors happen in an instant where some operation tries to reserve a very high amount of memory at a time. These kind of errors are difficult to monitor and prevent. But there are many situations where the server can be for long periods with the memory pools constantly high. Near the situation of going um, for example, because of a high volume of the concurrent queries, and without being able to free enough memory to go back to a normal situation, the new memory stability controller can monitor server memory heap and garbage collector activity to detect this situation and act accordingly to go back to a more stable scenario. For example, killing all running queries or killing older queries one by one until parameters go back to normal values. This update includes many enhancements related to the security. Here you can find a summary of the changes included in the update. There are many enhancements to add GUI support for several OAuth options in JDBC and ODBC data sources. 
the ODBC driver also have several updates to retrieve the access token using an OAuth refresh token flow, added the reference of the home directory of a user in the OAuth credentials cache file path connection property, and added support to retrieve data with OAuth authentication with multi-factor authentication enabled. The global security policies have also received several changes that includes the support in the design studio for specifying a wildcard tag name on the custom masking expression at global security policies, the creation of global security policies that restrict application access to users based on their membership in specific roles, and the option to execute the queries originated by execute and download with a specific user agent so these queries can be tracked by the Denodo monitor and or restricted with. Regarding the Credentials Vault, now it is possible to use it in SAPB API data sources. For the users and roles, it was added the new roles, Manage underscore policies, for extending segregation of privileges support, Read underscore all underscore privileges, for allowing to read all users' privileges, but not modifying them, Assign underscore VD underscore admin underscore privileges, to allow granting slash revoking privileges to users slash roles on the elements of the administrated databases. Design underscore studio underscore allow underscore login to control access to design studio. And finally, now it is possible to implement a security policy that limits the number of rows without allowing it to be bypassed by the offset clause. And was added support for Kerberos constrained delegation without protocol transition. Thanks for watching this video about new features for the virtual data port. If you want to learn more about the different enhancements added in the Denodo first quarter 2024 update, you can watch other videos in this series, or you can check the new features guide of the Denodo Platform 8 documentation. Thank you.